right. Like yeah. you Your faith in this horse, it, it never wavered. I mean, you were confident coming in today. It was unwavering, and he just went out there and proved what I thought he could do all along. And we did take the heart right out of Tapazar, which I thought he would if, if he yeah. did show the lead like that. So, Did you like what you saw when Pedroza just let out a notch and opened up there going to the half mile pole? Yeah, I looked I looked at the guy next to me, uh, my groom, and I said, it's over. We were standing together. I said, the race is over. He took it to him at the half mile pole. There was no catching. This is a special horse, and people have to start realizing that, you know, just because he wins on the turf it doesn't mean that he can't do it anywhere else. Does he win the Santa Anita Handicap? We'll cross that bridge when we get to it, Mike, but we're just so pleased with the horse. He's been through so much to get to this point. Um, you know, the near-death experiences, and it's just an unbelievable miracle that we're here today. Done a great job with him, Mike. Thank you. Are we ready, Heather? Martin, is this still the best horse you've ever ridden? The best horse by far. Marshall out on second. That's a big statement, buddy. He's a freak. Right. How much horse is this? This horse is a monster. Well, you know, we, we, thought he, we thought he'd handle the dirt. He did more than handle the dirt. Yes, he did. And he made Tapazar eat some dirt. <laughs> Thanks. Hey, I, I'll get you that stuff. I know you guys have to, to talk and enjoy yeah. it, but is the Santa Anita Handicap on your radar? <laughs> we got we to see how he comes out of the race, but why not? He's a mile and a quarter horse. Right. So we're thinking big right now. Fight on. Why not? A little bit of cat and mouse with Nakatani on the lead there. And finally, you just decided, you know what, I'm going to go ahead and take the lead. Well, that was my plan. I see that horse when Gomez rode him, he is a runoff, you know. And when I don't see Corey on the lead right away, I figured, well, he might have break it step slow. I don't know if he, that, that was the case. And I was in front, and I figured, oh, well, I let it take the easy lead, and then Corey come, and then Rosario, and then my horse took off. Uh -huh. After that, it was like, a, you know, three horse race, but we had the Rosario took back. And I was, well, I wanted to let Corey go. But my horse was pulling so hard, I don't want to choke him down, so I kind of give his head, and I open up right away on him. After that, he do the rest. You said coming into the win winter circle, no doubt in your mind, this is the best horse you've Without ever ridden. Without a doubt, I thought Marshall Love was the best horse I've ever run. People don't believe so because they never see him run, and I used to work, and he was like a freak. And fortunately, you know, he only won the big race. He don't have a chance to pull. He, he got hurt. Yeah. But uh, this horse, believe me, he's just learning how to run. Believe me. He's learning how That's to run. That's a big statement, Martin. Yeah. Thank you. Congratulations, buddy. Thank On to the Santa Anita right. Handicap. Thank you.